Howdy, howdy, and welcome back to another Workshop Wednesday. This week's edition is all about how to set up email alerts in GA4. So we're going to talk about that in just a moment. Before we go too far into this, welcome. Uh, if this is your first Workshop Wednesday, my name is Chris Mercer. Everybody calls me Mercer. You should as well. And I'm one of the instructors here at measurementmarketing.io. Whether you found us through the podcast and talks that we're always out there giving, maybe through some of the other platforms that we share some of our courses with, uh, maybe you already have all of our courses because you're a Measurement Marketing Academy for Marketers member or Academy for Professionals or maybe even Academy for Agencies and Teams, whatever level you are over at the Measurement Marketing Academy, uh, we are happy that you're here. Again, the flagship program is the Academy. We even have free versions as well uh, for free memberships for those of you who could use those. I'll talk about those a little bit later on. Now, when we do these trainings, we always come up with the one thing slide. That is because it is simple to be overwhelmed by a tool like Google Analytics 4. It can do a lot, but that doesn't mean you need to know every little thing about it, but maybe this one thing you do. Now, this one thing we're going to talk about is this, how to set up email alerts in GA4. Now, why is this so important? Well, let's dive in by first relating this to the framework. We are all marketing the blind, trying to get to the point where we just use a system that creates improved results that we're looking for. We ask the right questions. We gather the information. We take, we already know the actions we're going to take based upon the answers we get because we have a good measurement plan. In your build, when you build things out, you're going to be measuring for certain results. Wouldn't it be great if GA4 would tell you if those results are hitting your forecasts or not? Well, here's how that works. We're going to make sure the results in there through like a conversion event or something else. You make sure the traffic has worked with UTMs. You've got your, your platform connected so you see a story of traffic to results because you know how to use GA4. Then we listen to the conversation. And based on the conversation that's happening between the users and the website, we're going to measure it against our forecast. This is where these alerts come in because you're about to learn how to tell GA4, this is what I want you to tell me. If something is off by this number or lower than this number or something like that, please tell me. And it's going to send you an email to let you know so that you can optimize. And that is how this specific technique is going to help you um, using the measurement marketing framework, it's going to help you unlock the power of GA4. So first things first, we're going to come into Google Analytics 4. We've got a little dummy account that's set up here. I'm in the reports workspace and I'm looking at my reports snapshot. Now in here, it's going to change a little bit. I've zoomed in a little bit, but you'll notice there is a card called insights. That's right here. This is what you're looking for. So we're going to go to, uh, you, you know, create an insight, view all insights. I'm just going to cre create for now, since that's probably what you're also going to see. When you go to create, either way, you're coming into basically this section that says, hey, here's some things we can create. You can review and you can kind of create these. What this is kind of like templates that they have back there. Hey, I want to know every day, all of my users, if my revenue has some sort of anomaly, like something different, right? That's all it's going to do. It's kind of think for itself. Then it'll send you a little email with a, a subject of, a, you know, anomaly and da daily revenue. And it says, okay, here's the email for your account, or you can put another one in there. You can email, you know, your team at wherever, right? Um, so whatever, whoever needs to be notified, you can do that, which is kind of nice. But anomaly, while that's nice, that's basically like, hey, a big change as far as what GA4 thinks. It's useful, potentially, but I don't really like template stuff all that much. So what I would do is we're going to go back to create and I'm going to scroll down to where it says create new. So already, you know, this is where the alerts are going to happen, but we're going to create our own because really you want GA4 to be able to tell you about your specific questions that you are asking, not about something it thinks you should know about. Now, that's not really useful most times in measurement. So first thing, you've got the choice to change the frequency every hour with your web streams, daily, weekly, or monthly. How cool is this every hour to be able to see that? So we can have an hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly uh, time frame. I'm gonna keep it daily for now. Next up, a segment. By default, it's all users. However, if you go to change here, this is where your segment skills kick in. So if you already have existing segments, you can pull them in. Otherwise, you can pull up uh, you know, your own segments. I wanna see somebody from a certain country or a certain age demographic. If my 18 to 24 year olds, you know, as a segment, maybe that's what you want to do. Maybe you're trying to market to a certain segment and you're expecting that this certain segment of your market should perform better over time, right? Something along those lines. And you're looking for those sort of trends. That might be why you create a segment um, uh, coming through, right? So you have that idea of segment. Then it's the metric. 
what is the specific thing you want GA4 to be listening for, right? Listening for, so it can measure against the forecast. So here's the thing we want it to listen for. Let's say, uh, oh, well, let's do product revenue. That sounds like an important thing. So I want product revenue every day, not has anomaly. Remember, has anomaly, uh, uh, non <laughs> easy for me to say, has anomaly is basically GA4 saying, hey, there's a bit of a big difference, positive or negative, and we're going to alert you to that. Again, not not particularly not useful, but not exactly what I want. I'd rather say, listen, our product revenue is we're supposed to be doing, let's pretend a thousand dollars a day. I'm going to have a daily thing that says if product revenue is less than or equal to 1000 bucks every day, right? So that's my value that at that point that should trigger an alert. I would then change the name and be like, you know, like you can see here in the little example, for example, daily revenue less than 100. So it's okay. Daily, uh, oops, let's not do that. We're going to say daily revenue um, less than 1,000, right? So now we have that as our subject line that we're seeing. So we're getting the alert. And then, of course, here's the email that we're going to send it to. Obviously, this is just a dummy email for us, so we're not going to use that for real. But that's it. You go to create. At that point, you have your insight created successfully. So now... If I refresh, you're going to notice initially, especially with this particular account, there's nothing in there. You're going to not see any insights here, but eventually you would. And when you come into view all insights, you can click here to manage or create new ones. So if you manage a new one, and we just created this one, there it is right there. I can turn off email notifications. I can turn them on. I can come in here. I can delete it, or I can go back and edit it and say, you know what? Never mind. I want weekly to know if we're not making more than, you know, 10 K or whatever the number is that the, the value, I should say, this is your forecast of what this thing is that it's listening for. And look at all the different things you can look at. So again, none of these are things you want to set up everything for, but maybe you have a certain number of transactions you're looking for. Uh, maybe it's first visits. Maybe it's, you know, an, a certain event counts uh, coming through. So there's all sorts of interesting things that you can go through and use, but interesting doesn't mean useful. So you got to make sure like, okay, I'm asking a question around this thing, around my ad revenue, whatever it is. Does it match whatever my forecast is? If it does, if it doesn't, let me know every day. Tell me what's going on um, if, this, if this happens. So just some cool things that you can do with the insights feature um, that is back here when it comes to um, using GA4. Because a lot of people don't don't realize that. I know this insights thing is back there. Everyone's been seeing that, but it kind of looks like it's a little AI and yeah, the AI is going to help out with this. But the fact is you can connect it to your email and get those back. And that's something that a lot of individuals who used uh, universal analytics were maybe using. So email alerts is actually what it was. It's called alerts here. It's under insights and you tell your insight, you create an insight and say, when you have this thing, when it triggers this condition, please email me and let me know. And that's really it. It's all in the insight section, which you can find again in your report snapshot in the reports workspace. Just go to create your insights card, view all insights to manage your current insights or create new ones. So that's it. Pretty simple and to the point. What was your one thing? Maybe it was the fact that you could even do this. I know that was me when I first learned this. I'm like, oh, I didn't know you could. I thought there would have like an alert section. Didn't realize it was also buried within the insight section because why would I look there? But now you know that's where you can set this up. So if you need to sort of rebuild your alert system that you might be using for Universal Analytics into GA4, you'll be happy to know GA4 can probably handle it in the insights section. All right. Uh, if you would like workshops like this, just be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. We try to keep these coming on a fairly consistent basis. And uh, we love the comments. We can't always respond to all of them, unfortunately, because we are taking care of our members back in the Measurement Marketing Academy. However, leave us comments. We do read them. We do see them. If you have suggestions for other things or questions you're trying to handle, uh, we'll be able to create some workshops for you there as well. Of course, when we think about how it fits into the framework, you start to understand now. Now that I'm being alerted, I am telling the insight it's kind of right up here. It's it's listening. I'm going to build it, right? I'm going to I'm going to do it with my build step, but I'm setting it up so GA4 is listening for a certain number, matching it against my forecast of what the number should be, and then letting me know I need to go do something through the optimization step. That's how it fits into the measurement marketing framework. All right, we did mention the uh, academy earlier. I mentioned that free membership. We call it the toolbox. You're more than welcome to uh, become a member there. You get this workshop Wednesday. That that'll be back there waiting for you. Plus a whole bunch of other free tools, and we also give you a strategy course on the measurement marketing framework, which if you haven't taken, I highly recommend that. It's about three hours. It is pretty robust, uh, but it will change the way that you think about measurement and it will help you get more out of all of your tools, including GA4. Again, that is completely free as part of our free membership at the Measurement Marketing Academy. Again, that's what we call the toolbox membership. 
Now, there are other levels. We have the Academy for Marketers, Academy for, for Professionals, Academy for Agencies and Teams, depending upon your needs. But even if you're starting out for free, just go to measure.tips forward slash get academy to see all the options that are currently available for you. And with that, we'll go ahead and wrap this workshop up. Thanks for watching how to set email alerts in GA4. Thanks for watching this workshop. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.